Hi, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a question from a fellow boater about AIS. AIS stands for Automatic Identification System, a protocol uh, by which boat to boat transmit um, not only their boat location, their speed on ground, their course on ground, and it's used for collision avoidance, but also for identifying boats uh, that are in the vicinity of your boat. And this does not require any sort of land station. This is ship to ship, which is great. So it would work in the middle of the ocean. It would work as remote a place as it can be because it's actually boat to boat. So, all right, so the question is the following. We're talking about AIS here. I've been looking at the BNG combined VHF and AIS transceiver. Would you recommend going for a combined device like that or rather recommend a separate VHF and AIS device? That's a good question and a tough question, actually, because I don't think there's a simple answer. It really depends. Uh, generally, I do like, as a rule of thumb, I do like separation of devices. I think that's a good idea, and it's, it's not a bad idea to not have all your eggs in one basket, right? So that's one philosophy, right? Redundancy, right? So have an AIS sort of transponder and then have a VHF radio. That's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is, hey, Jeff, I'm going to be replacing my VHF radio because it's bad. And instead of just replacing the VHF radio, why don't I actually replace it with a combo unit? Hey, Jeff, another option would be, I've got no place for a black box. I just don't. So maybe my radio could be the one device that does both. Hey, that's a good reason. And then the other thing, too, that you would keep in your mind is, well, okay, well, what kind of boating are you going to do? Are you going to be doing boating in places where there's a lot of sort of navigational challenges based on, you know, I can imagine boaters that are going in really busy shipping lanes, right? Some of us live in areas where the port is ra rather active and there's a lot of marine traffic going around. And that might be like, okay, well, in that case, maybe my AIS is really, really, really important and I want to have separation. So that'd be one factor to consider. Most of the time, what we end up doing, and I said most of the time, because every rule has an exception, we end up doing a dedicated VHF, probably with a built-in GPS, probably, big fan of that, so that the DSC functionality on the radio works, sort of the 911 feature of the radio would work. And then we'll go with a black box AIS a transponder, which has a transmit and receive capability, and we'll divide and conquer. And I do that because, you know, I'm always sort of worried. I'm always thinking, what happens if you lose one, then you lose the other. So I would keep them separate in many cases, but there are exceptions to those cases, and I gave a few of those exceptions that would apply. And um, yeah, that's how I would go about it. So that's a good question and not an easy one. You got to think about pros and cons on that one. It's not black and white. Thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.